Well, Sync is uh, our in-car communication system. It basically uh, seamlessly connects any customer's uh, uh, Bluetooth-enabled device and connects it to the car. So, for example, uh, you're going into your car with your cell phone. You're able to uh, access the cell phone, you know, dial uh, your friends or anybody on your in your in your uh, in your note in your phone book, and do it all voice activated. Uh, so you never have to you know touch the the phone in your pocket. Also, at the same time, uh, be able to activate your MP3 player um, through voice activation. Just by, just by speaking commands. Just by speaking commands. Our new version three, which we're which we're introducing uh, in the in the springtime adds a number of new features. Uh, it adds, first off, uh, GPS to the vehicle. Uh, and secondly, what it does, it allows you to access what we call turn-by-turn -turn directions, uh, online uh, sports and weather information, all through your handheld uh, device. So we're using the sync system as the portal through your handheld device to that type of information. Right now, our, the current price for our sync system is $395, so it's a, it's a very good value to customers. Uh, the good news is we are seeing a, a, about a 70% take rate on the vehicles that we sell, uh, including sync. Um, we do offer sync standard on our Lincoln models, and we offer sync standard on our high series uh, Ford models. Uh, because we sell vehicles either uh, SE, SEL, or limited versions, so the high version is standard, and then we offer it optional on the other two. But it's a very high take rate, and customers are seeing the value of this. We uh, offer them right now on about 12 vehicles, and we should have them throughout our vehicle lineup uh, within the next year. So we're very aggressively rolling this out across our vehicle lineup. The car business is littered with stories of implementing technology for technology's sake, that wasn't intuitive and customers just got frustrated. So our approach at Ford is when we in, in, in implement technology into the vehicle, it has to be, first off, a benefit to the customer, and secondly, the customer has to view it as very intuitive to use and not, be, you know, not being a rocket scientist to figure out how to use it and get frustrated.